क्वेश्चन सेज वट इज द इक्वलेंट वेट ऑफ फास्फोरस इन द फॉलोइंग केमिकल रिएक्शन दिस इज केमिकल रिएक्शन गिवन हियर ओके नाउ पे अटेंशन वेरी केयरफुली यू कैन सी फास्फोरस पी फोर इट इज गिवन इन द मलिकुलर स्टेट ओके इन द मलिकुलर स्टेट बट क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग टू कैलकुलेट इक्वी वॉलेंट वेट फॉर द सिंगल एलिमेंट फास्फोरस ओके फॉर सिंगल एलिमेंट फास्फोरस द इक्वी वॉलेंट वेट फार्मूला वी हैव इक्वी वॉलेंट वेट सिंस वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट इक्वी वॉलेंट वेट फॉर द एलिमेंट देन आई राइट एटॉमिक वेट एटॉमिक वेट एंड डिवाइडेड बाई एन फैक्टर इज देयर ओके फॉर सिंगल आइटम वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट इक्वी वॉलेंट वेट देन वी राइट एटॉमिक वेट डिवाइडेड बाई एन फैक्टर एटॉमिक वेट फॉर द फास्फोरस वी कैन गेट फ्रॉम द पीरियडिक टेबल एन फैक्टर वैल्यू वी कैन कैलकुलेट फ्रॉम द रिएक्शन गिवन ओके फॉर दिस वी कैन राइट डाउन द ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ द फास्फोरस ऑन बोथ साइड ऑफ द इक्वेशन ओके फास्फोरस इज द सेंट्रल एलिमेंट इट इज ए न्यूट्रल मालिक्यूल सो इट हैज जीरो ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर मेड अप ऑफ सेम टाइप ऑफ आइटम्स विल हैव जीरो ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर अदर साइड एन ए एस टू पी ओ टू इज देयर्स फास्फोरस इज द सेंट्रल एलिमेंट हेयर ऑल्सो फास्फोरस इज द सेंट्रल एलिमेंट ओके लेट्स कैलकुलेट ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर We have NaH2 and PO2 is there. Neutral molecule is equal to zero. Sodium present in plus one oxidation number. Two hydrogen each. Hydrogen is what plus one. Then phosphorus and plus two oxygen each. Oxygen is what minus two is there. We got plus three phosphorus two to the four minus four is equal to zero. Phosphorus minus one is equal to zero. Phosphorus is present in plus one oxidation number. Okay. So we got plus uh, one oxidation number for the phosphorus. Okay, another we have phosphine. So neutral molecule is equal to zero. Phosphorus plus three hydrogen. Each hydrogen is what plus one. P plus three is equal to zero, and phosphorus is equal to minus three. You can see phosphorus is present in minus three oxidation number in phosphine. Okay, now we can compare the oxidation number to find out n factor value. Okay, now pay attention carefully. We have learned increase in oxidation number. We have learned increase in oxidation number is always oxidation and decrease in oxidation number is always reduction reaction. Very interesting. If you compare the oxidation number phosphorus to phosphorus, zero to plus one increase in oxidation number. This is what oxidation reaction. Okay. Again, we have phosphorus to phosphorus, zero to minus three decrease in oxidation number. You can see it is what reduction reaction. Okay. Now we can see same molecule is undergoing both oxidation as well as reduction reaction. Hence, we can say it is an example of disproportionate redox reaction. And to calculate and factor value in disproportionate redox reaction, we have different way of calculating and factor value. Okay. Now pay attention. Pay attention carefully. For single element, we have to calculate. For single element, phosphorus, we have to calculate uh, n factor value. Okay, so we have on the left side phosphorus. I take single element. Other side, we get phosphorus present in plus one oxidation number, and next we have phosphorus present in minus three oxidation number. Okay, this phosphorus is present in zero oxidation number. Okay, now find the difference in oxidation numbers. Zero to plus one, so one minus zero is equal to one electron is there. So this is what oxidation loss of electron is taking place. Then phosphorus to another phosphorus. The zero to minus three decrease in oxidation number. This in this case reduction reaction and gain of electron is taking place. Find the difference in oxidation number. Zero to minus three is there. So zero minus minus three is equal to three. We got three electron is there. Okay. And how we calculate an factor value in disproportionate redox reaction? We have the formula an factor is equal to an one multiplied by an two divided by an one plus an two is there. Okay. So you can label it. It is an one. And this is what next one is what it is an two is there. Now we can plug in the value one multiplied by three divided by one plus three is there. We got three by four is there. And factor value for the single phosphorus we got was three by four. Very interesting part. You can see because I have taken single phosphorus, I did not take P four. Okay, so n factor value for phosphorus we got that is three by four. Three by four we got it. Okay, atomic weight we know thirty one is the atomic weight. Now we can plug in the values here. Equivalent weight of phosphorus is equal to atomic weight is what thirty one and divided by n factor value we got three by four phos phosphorus so we got three by four so four will go at the top so I can write thirty one multiplied by four by three is there any such option given here you can see we have option D is correct option 
D is correct. This question is quite interesting because in the molecular formula for the single element, the question is asking to calculate equivalent weight. Okay.